Uh, uh, orc, got to go. What's wrong with line? You big armored oaf. I can't see. What's going on? Why hasn't this line moved? Quiet, we one. I too must wait in line. I must say, this line takes forever. What is going on? Uh, skeleton, have to wait in line too. How dare these people make me wait in line? What is going on? Ah, uh, eh, it's taking so long. My gods, what is going on up there? Oh, how dare you take so long? What is going on? Oh, and they thought where I lived was hell. What in the world is taking so long? Woo! Darn grilled dragon always rips right through me. I wouldn't go in there for another 10 minutes at least. <laughs> hey there, YouTube, it's me, Broken Terrain, and I'm gonna show you how to make this great little outhouse scatter terrain right after the drop. This is a great starter craft. Uh, so if you're thinking about trying a little terrain, uh, this is a fun one to do. I'm gonna measure and inch long strip off of my half inch XBS foam and I'm gonna grab a figure and uh, find out my scale ultimately I'm gonna cut one side at two inches tall and slope that cut uh, so it's about one and three quarters inches on the back side just take that off cut rotate it and uh, cut a second piece to size and now you've got your uh, your outhouse pieces there. We're just going to get a little hot glue and glue them together. But not yet. First, we're going to grab a pen and sketch out a doorway. And this is going to show us where we're going to uh, dig in a slight impression. And that way we can sink a door into this piece. And it's going to look uh, way more convincing than, say, just uh, carving it. Once we do that for both sides, a little hot glue, and we're going to stick these two pieces together. With the two pieces glued together, I'm going to add a little detail on the bottom. I'm just going to carve in and take out a bit of the bottom, leaving a little bit of the border there. I'm going to sell that as boards that are overlapping the bricks that I'm going to have the outhouse sitting on. Uh, once I cut the impression out, uh, I'll, I have this method of uh, creating a jagged edge on the boards, which I'll show uh, in some later footage. Then I cut a couple pieces out for the door. I'm going to do it in two halves, and that's going to allow me to do that uh, very noticeable half moon or quarter moon for the privy door. Here's that technique for gouging out those doors. It's just cutting small triangles out uh, and that's gonna really sell the look of individual boards. Then those slices we made earlier with the X-Acto, we're gonna go back in, widen those up with our pen, and then we're gonna draw out our wood grain all over the little outhouse. And already you can see the, uh, this thing is just screaming outhouse. After that, we're just going to cut some thin boards and hot glue them across the top. We're gonna let a bit uh, of the overhang on the front and the backs of the outhouse. At this point, you could stop with the roof and leave it at that. But I wanted mine to match the modular townhouse from before. So I'm going to use some of those leftover shingles from that build. Uh, and if you want to shingle yours, feel free. Uh, I wouldn't make an entire batch of shingles. You really don't need them for such a little piece. You probably stick to just some very small rectangles, either out of a, a thin uh, cardboard like a cereal box or Little Debbie or Hostess box 
or uh, even out of the foam itself. Just do some very small, thin uh, rectangles and apply them one at a time. Much like I did with the modular townhouse, I'm gonna clean up the edges of the roof of our outhouse here with some fascia boards. This is just gonna clean up the look and make the whole thing look a little better. Don't forget your pen texture on these pieces as well. Once done, I'm gonna grab a small block of my foam and just freehand out four bricks. Uh, they don't need to be perfect. I mean, you're just resting an outhouse on them. You just don't want the thing to tip over while you're inside, right? So I freehand a few bricks. I grab a piece of nice, thick, sturdy chipboard and a one inch fender washer. I like to weight my scatter down with, uh, with these and this is gonna give that little outhouse some nice uh, weight to sit on. So then it's just hot glue the fender washer to the sturdy chip, hot glue the bricks to the bottom of the outhouse and then hot glue the entire outhouse with the bricks down on top of our fender washer. We're gonna hot glue one more brick into place so that our minis can easily get in and out of our little outhouse. Let's cut it free from the rest of the cardboard. And then we're gonna hit this, uh, this base up with some white PVA glue and we're gonna flock that, uh, that bad boy with some of our craft sand. Then we're gonna hit the whole thing in the Black Magic Craft base coat that's 50% black acrylic paint and 50% matte Mod Podge. Cover the whole thing um, and when it dries, uh, it's gonna base coat it in that black and it's also gonna give that foam a nice hard shell. Then we're gonna grab our apple barrel burnt sienna and just hit the whole thing except for those stones. Next, I'm gonna come in with uh, Americana's Honey Brown and I'm gonna use this as a nice heavy dry brush. Just gonna hit the whole thing and it's gonna make that wood grain just absolutely pop. Apple Barrel Elephant Gray up next. That's what I'm gonna color these stones with. Next, I'm gonna do the shingles in a cobalt blue from Essentials. And then once the shingles have dried, I'm gonna go back in like I did again with my modular townhouse and pick out uh, a shingle here and a shingle there to do in a lighter turquoise. I took some super glue and super glued a couple small dollar store beads, two very small ones for the side hinges and a long one for the door handle. And I'm just gonna hit those with folk art gunmetal gray. Once dry, it's time to hit everything with my homemade black wash. Finally, again matching the, uh, the build of the townhouse, I am going to hit everything with a highlight of granite gray. And this is just going to make everything pop. Then I'm going to go in and with a little white PVA glue uh, in special spots along the shingled roof and then along the bottom I'm going to flock with my green grass material. I want to take this time to thank you for watching the video and if you like what I'm doing please hit that like button and share the video with your family and friends I'd really appreciate it. Finally, for one little bit of fun decoration, I'm gonna turn to the tufts that uh, the missus got me for Christmas. I asked my youngest which uh, color I should use, green or brown, 
and she said brown. I like her choice. The brown pops off the green flock really well, and I'm really happy with this cute little outhouse. Uh, to end the video, I don't have a different setup. I have the the same silly line, uh, line sketch, but uh, this time I'm going to play the original audio, and you're going to hear me cracking up. So uh, enjoy. So everybody, like each other, love each other, and craft on. Nine, uh, pick forever. What's going on? I don't know. I just got here. This line has not moved since I've walked up. What in the world is going? Oh my God! What is taking so long? What is wrong with this line? By the gods, the line takes forever. What is going on? Skeleton, wait to... Uh... Father, has the line moved? I can't, I can't see from back here. What is going on? My God, we're never going to get there. What's going on up there? Oh, I can't believe this. I'll never finish in time. What's taking so long? Oh my god, and they thought where I lived was hell. What in the world is taking so long? Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to show you how I made this little outhouse <laughs> right after the drop. 